What's up, guys and gals? How you doing tonight? Um, Roy here from Roy's Customs. Uh, I did do a little bit of airbrushing tonight, just because, well, it had been quite a while, so I thought I'd do a little airbrushing. Uh, the little skull and flames, nothing super spectacular or nothing, just a little practice. Uh, it's kind of chilly, so I, I got a little shaky there a little bit, so... Uh, and my airbrush was acting goofy. I, I, I had taken her apart a couple of times to clean it out, and I dropped, I dropped the nozzle, so it started acting a little goofy after a while. But um, uh, it's always nice to have spare parts around, but I don't have any spare parts, so I went ahead and just rolled with it, and um, I'll uh, go ahead and show you that and let you see what all I did. As you can see, the work isn't super amazing or nothing. I know it, um, I'm gonna have to get spare parts and I need to get a couple more airbrushes. So, but anyways, there is something that I do wanna show you. I, I clear coated it. I clear coated it with the uh, Rust-Oleum 2X. Well, I had used that 98 cent can of color place black for the base coat. 
Well, I got a pretty interesting result to show you. Yeah, you don't want to mix that. Ooh, see, cold chill. So anyways, you don't want to mix those two together. You don't want to clear coat it with the Rust-Oleum. So, anyways, that's all of that. So you can see how terrible it looks. It is interesting though, how it crinkles up like that. Um, that's why you want to make sure your paints are compatible. Um, anyways, uh, thank you guys and gals for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe. Have a uh, spectacular day or night, whichever one it is for you. Peace out.